My name is Darren Julian and I'm President and CEO of Julian's Auctions and tonight we have the VIP reception for the estate of Greta Garbo. You know, it's a fantastic association to bring the collection of Greta Garbo to the market. She, Greta passed away in 1990 and she worked in Hollywood until age 36. She, her last movie was in 1941 so for 50 years she lived a, quite a reclusive life. There's great intrigue and mystery about Greta Garbo so here we have an opportunity to showcase uh, personal insight into her life and how she lived and, and the beautiful uh, couture garments that she wore. Uh, you can also see the splash of colour. We all think of Garbo as something black and white, but really she loved colour and certainly from her items from her New York apartment, the pinks, the furniture is pink, the china is pink. It's really an interesting uh, insight into somebody that was so private and now the whole world gets an opportunity to, to see what really made up Greta Garbo. My name is Utliana Rolandsson. I have a PhD and I am also the cultural ambassador for the Garbo Society of Sweden. This event, I'm here to scope out the very beautiful items and on Friday or Saturday I hope to be able to auction in one of the beautiful items to be displayed at the only permanent exhibit in the world which is in southern Sweden where Garbo's maternal side came from. My name is Cora Sue Collins. When I was five years old, they were casting the role of Queen Christina as a child. Greta Garbo selected me to play her as a child, and we remained friends all, all of her life. I think the collection is extraordinary. Having known her and seen her, um, I'm amazed at the things that, you, that, that are here. In fact, some of the collectibles I'd like myself. I'm not going to tell you now because someone will try to bid them up. The interest in this auction is global. I mean, we have people actually flying in for the auction from Russia, from Japan, you know, from Europe, all over the world, just to get a piece of Greta Garbo. It's just a way to celebrate her life and allow fans and collectors to come in and view the items uh, in person. One of my favorite is the uh, waffle iron. Uh, and it's only because I come from Sweden and like Garbo we love waffles. Of course when you bring a collection like this to the market the first question that comes to mind is what is the provenance? And that's really important when you come to buy collectibles and memorabilia. And of course these items come from Greta Garbo's family. I'm Derek Ricefield, I'm the great nephew of Greta Garbo. You know a lot of the items are, are personal clothing items that she wore, a lot uh, made by Valentina Schley. Uh, who was a personal friend, items from Christian Dior, Givenchy, and uh, Emilio Pucci, who are all friends of hers. It's a big responsibility to maintain a collection like this. Uh, it takes a lot of work and a lot of effort, and uh, we were very meticulous about how we, we stored it. And uh, several of my siblings uh, decided it was time to sell. This is her legacy. We're preserving her, her legacy. We're telling the story and making her relevant. Keeping in mind that she passed away in 1990, in you know, in her 80s. So it's 2012, and people still have a love affair and still want to own something from Greta Garbo. She's like truly this enigma, but also she's the modern woman, and this is back 1920, 1930, the modern woman who can be cool and bold and badass, but at the same time never losing the mystique of the feminine. And I think there is something at the core of that that, that makes us all be completely fascinated by her. And so after a very successful uh, reception where we had tons of people and people that came in from France and all across the United States and from Australia and from the UK, it's auction day. Greta Garbo was a fashion icon, I mean she was a style icon and that's very evident by the amazing exhibition we put on with the range of colours and the range of labels. We had the most Valentina gowns at auction ever. The style and the fashion and the outfits and the amazing gowns 
that Garba wore, and just the dresses, ordinary everyday dresses were very stylish as well, and they were selling 10, 20 times the estimate. Selling $13,000. Here we've got the 1984, 1984 passport issued of Greta Garbo. And we noticed this in many celebrity auctions that we've done, that passports sell very well. At 6,000, 5,500, now 6,000. You have a recent photograph in your passport, you have detailed information on your passport, but also you have destinations, you have visas, you have stamps when you enter and leave countries. So it gives you a great insight into a person's travels, where they love to travel, where they travel most often. $9,000, other than nine I got, now 10. 10,000 I have, now 11. 11,000, 10 spent, now 11. 11,000, give me that million dollar smile. 11, there you go, I love it. And of course, again, very personal, something that's always touched by Greta Garbo. 14,000, any other bids? So now we can celebrate with you. Both my husband and my brother-in-law are Garbo fans. And so today I was able to get a few very special things. I won two different passports and I also want a beautiful uh, chess set. And I paid a little bit more than I'd expected, but it was fine. It's well worth it. I think Greta Garbo is fascinating. There's so much we don't know about her. She loved such a private life. And this is sort of a peek into who she was when she wasn't on screen. The lady, yes, was excited to buy these passwords for her husband. And, you know, it's really fun to see that. And what a great gift for him. All right, Louis Vuitton, one of the greatest designer luggage makers and purse makers in the world. Nobody compares to them. This is a steamer trunk. Now Louis Vuitton trunks, vintage trunks are highly collectible, but add that to Greta Garbo, and add it to Greta Garbo having it was one of the first major purchases she made in her career, um, bought here in, um, in Los Angeles, in fact. It has serial numbered and everything, all the documentations there. All right, we got 12 on the internet, 15,000 right there on the telephone, 17, 16, 17. Incredible interest. I mean, it's amazing to see the amount of people that are registered to phone bid in this item. You look at the quality of this, the preservation's unreal. $20,000, 20 I got, 22,500, 22,500. 20 is bid, 22,500, I got it, now 25,000. Had 22,500 bid, 25,000 dollars, could be one of the best pieces in the world. 25,000 I got. Honestly, it's going to be a bidding frenzy. We're really curious to see where it goes. Going once, we have 30,000 with the bidder with Martin on the telephone asking 32,500. Going twice, so 30,000 at Julian. Thank you. Bidder number 808, and it's going to France. Another interesting item, of course, is our cocktail shaker, sterling silver, GG, and a lot of Garbo's items are monogrammed, GG, Greta Garbo, and so there's great interest in that. $20,000 I have, now $22,500. $22,500, she must have used it every afternoon. $22,500, $25,000. I've got, $27,500. $27,500, I got it. Anyone else? So Megan's bidder gets it, 27,500. We've had a fantastic auction. I mean, it's two days, 850 lots. We estimated the entire sale to be in the region of two to 300,000. And in fact, when the hammer went down, at the end of the day, we sold everything. It was a white glove auction, meaning we sold every single item in the sale and we netted somewhere, we brought in somewhere in the region of 1.6 million. Phenomenal result. People still have a love affair with Greta Garbo. They still want something personal, something that she touched, something that's from her life and career. And honestly, the sale today was almost like the Marilyn Monroe sale back in 1999. Truly amazing.